Hello, my beautiful, lovely, powerful creators. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all getting our manifestations. If you are new here, my name is Erin and I am here to help you get your shit through all things a lot of assumption. I have a plethora of videos that can help you, but if you do need more one-on-one -on -one personalized coaching, to help you remove any blocks or anything like that, I offer one-on-one -on -one email coaching. All of that information is in the description box below. So I wanna talk about signs that your manifestation is almost here. It's like just over the brink, you could see it on the horizon. So after you've been putting in the work, saturating your mind, affirming, doing whatever techniques that you use, sometimes you're kind of starting to look around the corner, like, hey, where's my manifestation why isn't it here yet and when you start seeing these things it's important that you keep persisting and keep going because that means you're doing everything right don't change anything just keep going but one of the first things that you're probably gonna start seeing is signs and synchronicities so you might start seeing angel numbers and you're seeing the same angel numbers over and over if you're manifesting a specific person you might start seeing their name popping up everywhere um, if you're manifesting a specific amount of money you might start seeing that number everywhere, stuff like that. That is really reassurance that that desire is starting to really impress on your subconscious because your subconscious is starting to put it out there now like, hey, I see you. It's that repetition of that person, that person over and over in your head. So, okay, then you start seeing their name everywhere. Your subconscious is telling you, okay, I get it. I see you. That person's coming. You're gonna, you're seeing them everywhere. You're gonna keep seeing them. I would not put too much excitement and ties into random angel numbers. Like I, when I'm manifesting specific things and I start seeing angel numbers, I try and tie that to my specific desire. So if I'm manifesting a lot of money, I don't know why I started randomly seeing 333 when I was manifesting a lot of money. So every time I would see 333, I would reaffirm my money's coming, it's almost here. Don't just get so caught up in seeing angel numbers and being like, angel numbers, okay, everything's going my way. Like, yes it is, and that's great, but we need to be very careful that we don't accidentally start manifesting angel numbers and not manifesting our desire. It's a good way to keep yourself on track, snap your mind back into that mindset of, oh, okay, yeah, it's reaffirming that my specific desire is coming, but definitely don't put too much into it that you start manifesting more angel numbers. We're not manifesting angel numbers, we're manifesting the things that we want. So take all of those things as just, okay, this is starting to impress on the subconscious, but I'm not going to put more energy into it than what it is. Synchronicities also kind of appear. I notice it like when I'm talking about something and then somebody else brings up the same thing. Like I had found out a random fact the other day and then I saw it pop up like multiple times after that and I'm like I have never heard of this before and now it's coming up a lot that's weird or you know when you're you're talking to your friend about something then all of a sudden you see an ad about it on your phone that's not the CIA listening to you okay that is your mind reproducing what is familiar what is learned what is new so then I start to notice after I start getting signs, synchronicities, and I keep persisting, the next thing that I usually start getting is BBLs. And BBLs, I'm telling you, if you get a BBL, oh my God, this is where a lot of people accidentally give up. Okay, so what is a BBL? A BBL means birds before land. In the pirate day, I don't know if it's pirate days, but this is how I associate it. Anything on a boat, any, any type of sailing thing going on. If you are sailing in an ocean and all of a sudden you see a bird, that means land is near because the birds have to live somewhere. Birds before land, it means you see birds before the land. The land is your manifestation. Birds are signs. These are different from signs because BBLs show up in ways like, let's say that you are manifesting a specific person and you want him to say, I'm in love with you, I wanna marry you. A BBL for this might be a person that is completely different, shows up and tells you these exact same things that you wanna hear from your SP. Now, this is where a lot of people kinda of get, they'll give up, they'll be like, oh, okay, well, it didn't work on him, so maybe since it's working on this guy, I should give this guy a chance. No, do you want this person? If you want them, go for it. 
But if you're manifesting a specific person, all of this me all this means is that that person is so close to conforming. You have impressed all of these specific parts of the equation onto your subconscious. The subconscious is just missing the tiny part of, oh, okay, wait, no, it's that guy, not this guy. You're putting out thought transmission out there that's, you know, you've worked on your self-concept. You know, you're seeing yourself as somebody that is loved, that is a wife. And so now you're just having it reflect with easier situations that you might not have the resistance to as much. Keep persisting and get your man. <laughs> it is critical in this moment. This can also even show up, maybe you're manifesting $100,000 and then suddenly your best friend wins $100,000. What? I was manifesting that. And now you're like kind of pissed off because you're like, that was supposed to be me. Honey, that is your sign. That is your sign now more than ever that that money is coming to you. These are just examples, but BBLs can show up in an so many different ways, even just you opening this comment section and somebody says that they got something that you're specifically manifesting, take that as a BBL, keep persisting in that moment, don't settle, do not give up, it is, a, it is right around the corner for you. After BBLs, the next thing really is going to be the knowing and you don't have to have the knowing. You don't have to believe your manifestation is here until you see it with your own 3D eyes. But for a lot of these bigger things that we're really working towards, sometimes the knowing really is there. Maybe you just kind of want to stop um, doing your techniques because you feel like it's pointless. You feel like your manifestation is already here. You feel like it's yours. You feel like you have it. You know that you're going to get it soon. You might even see this as just being bored with doing those techniques or you're just, I don't know, you're just more confident. Like you have felt a shift. Um, and like I said, it's not necessary at all. None of these signs, synchronicities, BBLs, or the knowing, you don't have to have any of these and your manifestation can just pop up in your reality. Usually if I'm experiencing the knowing, it's like without a doubt, it's literally like within a few days. And that's kind of what's cool is you can hack yourself into being in the knowing. You don't have to wait. You can put yourself in the knowing right then. Just affirm, I know my manifestation is about to be here. I know this thing belongs to me. I know it's mine. I know I'm in a relationship now. I know I have the money. Even though I may not see it in this specific second, I know it is for me and I know it is almost here. The reality is as soon as you decide that it is working, it is working. As soon as you decide that the technique you're doing is going to work, it's going to work. You don't have to believe your affirmations when you're saying them. You just have to believe that what you affirm presents itself. As soon as you send off these magical words, once you decide what you want and you say them, you state it, you say that you want it, you've decided that you want something. It has to come forth. It has to. You're immediately in the unfolding of it coming into fruition. You've already willed it into existence. It's just sitting there, your desire is sitting there on another timeline and once you decide to grab it, it is unfolding in this current reality. So you can affirm 20 times and detach, it doesn't matter. You can affirm all day, every day. It doesn't matter. Whatever you decide is working for you is what works. So you can jumpstart that by just deciding you're in the knowing and you know that it's about to be here any minute and it has to. But if you are doing that and you don't see it, don't let that discourage you because it just means, all it means is that you just need to practice more of your instant manifestation. Like, it's just manifestation ability. It's not the fact that you can't have your desire. Just believe in yourself. It is called the law of assumption because whatever you assume to be true, and assume is to believe in something without having any evidence, it's basically having faith. Having faith in whatever is unseen that you want to be seen has to come true. So if you first start affirming for something that you've never experienced before, it is normal for you to not 
but necessarily believe or not be able to feel it real you're rewiring your brain to believe that you can have this thing believing something to be true that you never would have believed to be true before it's looking in the same places that you were looking before and you're actually seeing evidence pop up that you didn't even notice before for an example let's just say that you're with a person and your specific person says that they just want to be your friend but you're manifesting them to be more now you have this assumption that they just want to be your friend so you keep going about your life manifesting them and hoping that their feelings will change but then if you take a step back and you think wait a second no i was just remembering it wrong because whatever you don't want to see is incorrect whatever you don't align with is wrong it is a sin it is not meant for you whatever you do align with is the truth this was meant for you so then you sit there and you say okay and wait a second i was remembering it wrong they actually are pursuing me they're in love with me you can actually see because you have shifted to a state where they were pursuing you all this time you can actually see evidence of all of the moments they were pursuing you when you thought that they just wanted to be your friend all of the evidence will come up you just have to shift your state and be in the knowing that what you actually want is the truth it is hardening to fact all around you and you are watching it experiencing it happening when you feel the knowing do not fucking stop do not change anything keep persisting in what you want even if it's not specific techniques keep your mind aligned with the fact that you are getting it you will have whatever you desire whatever you desire is meant for you or you would not desire it don't get so caught up in time don't get so caught up in time if you do start to start thinking too much on time okay well it's been 2 weeks since i've been manifesting that means it has to happen now 2 weeks is long enough the 3d wants to give you what you want it is not the 3d's job it is not anyone out there's job to create obstacles to get in your way of your manifestations all you have to do is decide believe and then receive it's that easy the 3d will always do its job perfectly it will reflect your assumptions and your thoughts so keep your assumptions and your thoughts in line with what you desire and there is nothing that can stand in your way you got this you got this if you need any additional guidance reassurance or anything of that sort you can reach out to me for one on one coaching or just leave a comment below with any questions concerns we can all help each other out here make sure to like this video share and subscribe if you're not subscribed and i will see you guys in a future video okay bye